Hi, welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast, Lesson 5-7, Dividing Greater Numbers. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote today is by Jesse Owens, who was considered the greatest athlete in the 1936 Olympics in Germany. He won four gold medals. He said, we all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. I think it's the same with math. It takes a lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort, and that's what makes us successful. So have some fun trying to use all of those skills to um, achieve some mastery tonight. Our learning goal is to use doubles division to divide four digits by two digits. So these are the same uh, double division learning goals that we've had all along. So make sure you review those so that you know exactly where to focus your efforts. That's the Olympic team with Jesse Owens there. Here is our first example, 4,457 divided by 39. And you knew I'd have to put a picture of Jesse Owens with President Ford and his wife, Betty, because I just think that it's really cool when people get to meet presidents. Let's go ahead and see how you work that example. Let's work it together. So this problem could be crazy long, so we're gonna kind of smoosh it in, I think. But we're gonna look at the four first. Nothing will go into four, so I'm gonna put an X over that. We're gonna have a three-digit quotient here, so let's see how this works out. The closest number to 44 without going over is 31. So I'll write that below it, and I'm gonna annex two zeros to fill in those place value positions. And so I'll take the one that's next to the 31, write that to the right of it, and because I annex two zeros here, I have to annex two zeros here. And this is the corresponding quotient number. So we're ready to subtract. Seven minus zero is seven. Five minus zero is five. Four minus one is three and four minus three is one. So we're looking for the closest number to 13 without going over, and there isn't one. So the closest number to 135 is 124. And I only have to annex one zero here, so I'm gonna take that four and annex one zero next to that, and I'll connect those, and we'll subtract. 7 minus 0 is 7, 5 minus 4 is 1, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So the closest number to 117 without going over is, and I'm always using the numbers in this column to put in the house, 62. I don't have to annex any zeros this time, so I'll just set the 2 that's next to it right over here in the 1's place. Now I'll subtract. 7 minus 2 is 5. 1 minus 6 you can't do, so 11 minus 6 is 5. Now we're looking for the closest number to 55 without going over, and that will be 31. And the number next to the 31 is a 1. Remember, these numbers over here go in the quotient column. We didn't annex a 0, so I don't annex any zeros. 5 minus 1 is 4, and 5 minus 3 is 2. Now. What we have here is less than our divisor, so we have a remainder of 24, and we're gonna add up our quotient column. So zero plus zero plus two plus one is three, and zero plus four is four, and one plus nothing is one. So our quotient is 143, and to check that, I would need to multiply 31 times 143 and then add 24 to that total, which should give me 4,457, which is my dividend. So it's time to work a practice problem. There's Jesse Owens running. Number one, 5,232 divided by 47, using the crazy way or doubles division. Pause, do your work, check it using multiplication, and then push play when you're ready. Did you write 111 remainder 15? Let's see how we did that. So we'll start out by saying uh, what number is closest to five without going over, and there isn't one, so we'll put an X over that. And so now we'll look at 52. Closest number to 52 without going over is 47, because we're looking at the numbers in this column to put in the house. 
And we have two empty place value positions, so we'll annex two zeros. Come over to the number to the left of 47, it's one, and we have to annex two matching zeros over here. Subtract, two minus zero is two, three minus zero is three, two minus seven can't do it, 12 minus seven is five. So we're looking now for the closest thing to five without going over, and there isn't anything. So we'll look at 53, and the closest number to 53 is again 47. This time we only have to annex one zero to fill that place value position, so when we write that one, we'll just write it with one zero annexed. And subtract, two minus zero is two, three minus seven, you can't do, 13 minus seven is six. Closest number without going over again is 47, but this time we don't annex any zeros. We just write the one there. Two minus seven, can't do it. 12 minus seven is five, and five minus four is one. Now this remainder here is less than our divisor, so it will work as our remainder, and we'll add up our quotient column. Zero plus zero plus one is one, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So we have a quotient. See, I have a roof over every room in my house. 111 times 47 to check, and then add the remainder of 15 to that. You should get 5,232. Number 2, 3,201 divided by 68. Work it using the crazy way. Check it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 47 remainder 5? Let's work that one together. So remember, as we're doubling, 68 plus 68 is 136, plus 136 is 272, and 272 plus 272 is 544. So we're looking for a number that will go into three without going over. There isn't one in this column, so we'll put an X over the three. Now we're looking at 32, and there's no number that will divide evenly into 32 without going over. So we'll put an X there too. So we know our quotient is going to have two digits. So we're now looking at the number 320. Ignore that one, 320. And the closest number to 320 is 272. I have to annex one zero to fill that empty place value position. And the number next to 272 is a four. And since I annexed a zero here, I'll annex a zero here. And now we'll subtract, we'll connect those. One minus zero is one. Zero minus two, you can't do. 10 minus two is eight. One minus seven, you can't do. 11 minus 7 is 4, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So now we have 481, and the closest number to that without going over is again 272. Take that 4 there and write it here because I didn't annex any zero, so I have to write that in the ones column. Subtract 1 minus 2, you can't do. 11 minus 2 is 9, 7 minus 7 is 0, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So the closest number to 209 without going over is 136. I didn't annex any zeros for that one, so I'll take the 2 that's next to it and write it in the ones column. 9 minus 6 is 3, and 0 minus 3 you can't do. 10 minus 3 is 7. Closest number to 73 without going over is 68, and there's a one next to that, so I'll put a one in the ones column. Three minus eight, you can't do. 13 minus eight is five. Six minus six is zero. So our remainder is less than our divisor, so we'll write remainder five here, and add up the numbers in our quotient column. 4, 5, 6, 7, using touch point, and 4 plus 0 is 4. So 47, remainder 5. To check it, 47 times 68, then add 5 to your answer, and you should get 3,201. Here is our practice word problem. 
Number three, Miss Ott bought 8,415 goldfish to put in her classroom. If she wants to put no more than 43 goldfish in each goldfish bowl, how many goldfish bowls will she need to buy? Go ahead and figure that out. Think about kind of the strategies we've been using in our word problems for the last couple of lessons. Check it and then push play when you're ready. Did you write 196 goldfish bowls? I don't think there's gonna be room for kids in her classroom, there's so many goldfish and goldfish bowls. Let's see how we did that problem. So let's check, 43 goes into eight, it won't. Can't go into a room that's smaller than you, so we're gonna X, put an X over that. So we're looking for the closest number to 84 without going over, and that is 43. 86 is bigger than 84, so we can't use that one. Take the number to the left, and that's gonna be our one right here. So I still have two empty place value positions, so I'm gonna annex zeros there, and since I annex two zeros there, I'm gonna annex two zeros here. So let's subtract that. Five minus zero is five, one minus zero is one, four minus three is one, and eight minus four is four. So as I'm looking here at the four, nothing will go into the four, and I'm gonna look at the 41, nothing goes into 41, but the closest number to 411 without going over is 344. So I'll write that beneath that. And now I can see that I have an empty place value position, so I'll put a zero there. And I'll take that eight and put a zero next to that since I annexed a zero here. And we'll subtract. Five minus zero is five, one minus four, you can't do it. 11 minus 4 is 7. And 0 minus 4, you can't do that, so we're going to regroup. 10 minus 4 is 6, and 3 minus 3 is 0. So we have um, 675. So we want, let's see, the closest number to 67. Look at it this way. I could say the closest number to 675 is 344, but I can get a number that's even closer to 675 by just looking at the 67. So as I look at the 67, the closest number is 43. So if I write 43 there and annex a zero, do you see how that's closer to 675? So I'll take the one that's next to the 43 and annex a matching zero. 5 minus 0 is 5, 7 minus 3 is 4, and 6 minus 4 is 2. So I'm looking for the closest number without going over, and it is 172. And the 4 is next to that. I didn't annex any zeros, so I won't annex a 0 over here. 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 minus 7 you can't do, and 14 minus 7 is 7 closest number to 73 without going over is 43 and there's a 1 next to that 43 so I'll put a 1 in the ones column 3 minus 3 is 0 and 7 minus 4 is 3 now my leftover down here my remainder is less than my divisor so that is my remainder and then I'm going to add up my quotient column to find my quotient. I'm going to have a three digit quotient because I have three rooms that don't have roofs over them so 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 1 is 5 0 plus 8 plus 1 is 9 and 1 plus 0 is 1 so 195 whoops that's a terrible 5 remainder 30 is my answer to check it, I multiply 43 times 195 and add my remainder of 30. It's time to challenge yourself in the same way that Jesse Owens challenged himself. Jesse Owens ran for 7,106 seconds. If he ran 323 laps, how many seconds did it take him to run each lap? Go ahead and show your work in your flip journal and come to class and check your work tomorrow. Have some fun with this one. Finishing up, review your learning goals. Uh, write down any questions you might still have. Write down if you're at a level one, two, or three in your learning. And uh, you finish lesson 5-7, dividing greater numbers. I will see you tomorrow where we can practice some more.